Hey everyone. Today I'm back with another video. But, it is Minecraft. You know I can't let Minecraft go like that. So today I'm gonna show you how to enjoy volume trick lighting on your low end PC with a good performance. I played this on Intel HD 4000 a long time ago. It gave me 30 FPS with 0.7 render quality and nearly 60 FPS with 0.5 render quality. The shader I'm using is Sildur's Vibrant. As we know some people gets black screen when using volume trick lighting. If you wanna fix it, you have to disable volume trick lighting. But, what if you wanna enjoy volume trick lighting on your low end PC? That's why I brought this video for you. I edited Sildur's Vibrant a little bit and now volume trick lighting working perfectly even on low end PCs. I tried to make the volume trick lighting looking like Steve's shader. But it was hard to make and I couldn't make it. I'm sorry for that. Because of that it doesn't have colored volume trick lighting. For example, when volume trick lighting goes through a blue window, the color won't change to blue. But, in Steve's shader it worked perfectly. So, let me show you how to do this. First download the shader in the description and move it to shaders folder. Then open up Minecraft and go to video settings. Turn fast render off because it's not gonna let you use shaders. Then go to shaders and choose the shader you downloaded. After that, go to shader options, then sky and lighting and then volume trick lighting. Turn volume trick lighting on. As you can see there are two other options. Let me explain what they are. BL Max Samples means the quality of the volume trick lighting. It is just like render quality. When you increase it, FPS will reduce. It's simple. And VL Invisibility means the invisibility of volume trick lighting. I recommend to use 10 or 20 to make it looking good. If you increase it, volume trick lighting is gonna disappear. So, don't increase it much. But, if the volume trick lighting is everywhere, I mean if it looks like fog, just increase it a little bit and it will work. So those are the default settings I used. You can adjust them on your own. So that's how you do it. You know I can't show you any gameplay because shaders won't work on this PC. But I can show you some screenshots I've taken a long time ago. Here they are. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Grab the subscribe button. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.